Hello again, this is Rob Wagoner with MyCloud IT, and I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to publish applications that don't show up in the Remote Apps Applications tab. So sometimes you will have created your own custom application and it doesn't show up on our list. Adding it could be a hassle, right? So what I'm going to do is show you the quick way you can go into your management server and add this. I'm going to go add Notepad. You can see it doesn't show up on this list. So what we're going to do is we're first going to move over into the Azure portal, portal.azure.com. I'm going to go into virtual machines and it's going to show all the virtual machines. As you can see, this is one of our test environments. Now what we're going to do is filter this if need be. Demo 16 is the name of my deployment. So I'm going to come over here and I'm actually going to filter by Demo 16 and it's going to show me just the virtual machines for Demo 16. I'm going to go to the RDS management server. Go ahead and click on it. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to connect to that virtual machine so we can go make a change there. We click on the connect button and this is going to create a remote desktop session directly to your management server. We'll enter our credentials. Click OK. It's probably going to ask you for a validation certificate. Go ahead and click yes. And we're going to start the remote desktop session into your management server. OK, once we're logged in to the management server, server manager should start. It should be coming up just like this. If it isn't, you can click on the start button and you'll see server manager here listed under S. You can start it there. Once server manager is up and running, you'll see a lot of different items we can manage here. We're only going to focus on remote desktop services. If you click on remote desktop services, you'll probably get an error like this saying the following servers are not part of the server pool. That's very easy to solve. That's not a bug. This is a per user configuration. So we'll go over to manage, add servers. All we have to do is click find now. And there's no reason you can't just add all the servers in your list. So you could just click them over, say OK. And then server manager is going to work for a minute, adding all of those servers to the list. We could go over here to all servers and it'll actually show the list of adding. If some of your servers are off because say you're using auto scaling, we may have a problem publishing apps. So we need to make sure all of your servers are up. And if you've deleted servers in the past, those may still show here as unresolved, but those are okay. We just want to make sure all of our RDS SSH servers are up before we can publish this app. If you have auto scaling enabled, you'll want to go disable that first. Or if you have VMs that are scheduled to be off, go ahead and manually start those. Give them a few minutes to be connected. Then we can continue from there. But once this screen shows all your VMs are up and running, we can now move over to the remote desktop services section. And now we see the servers. We can drill into all the servers. Collections, what we're going to do is drill into the name of the remote apps. Quickly, I'm going to come back here to the management portal so we know what we're looking for. Demo 16 remote apps, flip over to details. So here's the name of our collection that we're going to deploy into. So we move back over here. So there's the name of my group. Okay, so now that we know the collection we want to add to, we come to tasks, publish, to publish remote apps. And now it's going to go scan those session hosts for the applications we want to publish. This will take just a minute. Now you can see the list. This is the same list we provide to you. The issue is, is that the application we're looking for can't be found here. So what we need to do is manually add it. We click on the add button and then it'll ask us to locate Notepad. Now it's asking us to search one of the session hosts, not our local machine. Notepad is installed in the Windows directory. So you need to know where the application actually resides on the session host server say you went and installed something custom, you'll know where that's installed so you can drill in and get it. Here I can click Notepad Open. Now Notepad shows up on the list. I can click Next and it's going to confirm that we want to publish this app. So then we click Publish and the RDS management server is now manually publishing this application for you. So this will take just a couple minutes to publish and now it comes back and says Notepad has been published. So we can close this and now we can log out of this server. When we move back over to the MyCloud IT management portal, if we click refresh, it will go back out and scan the session host for available applications and publish applications. This will take just a moment. It's going back and scanning session hosts like we've already done a few times now. And now that that's loaded, if we scroll down, we'll now see that Notepad is here 
and it's enabled for remote app deployment. So that's all you need to do if you have to go add a custom application to remote apps so you can use it. That's all I have for today. I wish you well.